Hello, hi, Jimmy Lang, and uh, welcome to my hideout. We finally moved in after months and months of waiting. Oh my god, guys, I have waited for this for such a long time. Yo! Yo! I wanted my own place, guys, for as long as I can remember. And we're finally here. We've moved in. Sila. Yes! 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 So moving in day was pretty hectic, very busy. Um I didn't even get a chance to like take my, my 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 selfie of myself on my kitchen island with my keys in hand and be like but i did manage to squeeze in an empty apartment tour for you guys on moving day just before all my stuff got moved in so that is what this video is about today um but before we get into that i actually want to show you a little bit of the before um the construction phase so that we can just see you know where we come from it's been quite a journey uh yeah like i said it's been a journey so yeah take a look So if you watched uh, my previous video, you would know that I had a little bit of uh, drama with my living room doors. So three weeks before I was meant to move in, I came and actually saw my unit for the first time and saw that the living room doors were not what I expected. They installed sliding doors instead of stack back doors. So basically they had to source new doors because I really wanted my stack back doors. So they had to source new doors and pretty much break down parts of the wall so that they can fit the stack back doors. And I'm so glad they managed to do that because it makes such a huge difference. And if you ever get a chance, to have to choose between the two. I, I would personally recommend stack back doors over sliding doors any day. It makes the world of a difference. Anyway, the moment we've all been waiting for is here. Take a look at the empty apartment tour. <laughs> Why is it wet? <laughs> it's still wet. It's gonna be so, so dirty because the movers are literally here <laughs> so this is the kitchen area <sighs> i have so many plans for this spot i do want um a little bit more black so i want to put in maybe black handles on the cupboards you know some black accessories on the countertops um yeah a nice stove top yeah stove top a nice stove top kettle 
for this nice range you know what i mean you know what i'm saying hello <laughs> and this is the scullery this is where the fridge is gonna be and the washing machine over here and dishwasher over there this is the island from this side i us also throw it to you from this side oh, can't wait to dress it up with pretty bar stools some floating shelves i like these lights over here initially they were navy blue the ones that we saw at the showroom which i didn't really like so i'm really glad they switched it out to black over here we've got the one bedroom with a full bathroom tiles to ceiling uh yeah it's really just a standard bathroom i haven't really decided the theme color scheme probably gonna try and add touches of green i don't know we'll see we'll see and then this is the other well the first bedroom some really really generous cupboard space in here which is lovely and some drawers. The floors are also great. So the bedroom have these the bedrooms have these kind of floors. I think it's vinyl flooring. And then the rest of the space is tiled. There's a little storage situation here. And then we come into my bedroom. What's gonna be my bedroom? Just because it's just so much bigger. I mean, it's not huge, but it's bigger than the other one. This is it. Super cool. I am definitely sleeping here tonight. Wait, I need to open my windows. It smells so... Um, it smells like paint. Yeah. Hi! <laughs> and then there's this space over here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I might leave it as it is. I might, if I need additional storage or some decoration situation, put something over there. Shower. The cool thing about the showers is that, one, I really like these shower heads. It's so nice and generously big. And then they have these ledges that you can just put your stuff on, which is really cool. Um, I'm so glad about this whole tile to ceiling thing. It looks way better than it could have looked if they had only done like half of the situation. But this is, this is pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys can see why I've been just beside myself in excitement and anticipation because my gosh, yo, <laughs> it's been just months of waiting, guys. Like this journey started in April, 2020. That's actually when I first learned about this, this development and I was just absolutely crazy about it. I was obsessed, borderline obsessed. So yeah, <laughs> it's awesome that we're finally finally here um i'm looking forward to the decor journey um so far so good certain things didn't go as planned in terms of you know how i envisioned them in my mood boards and how they came to life in the space and uh we just have to you know tweak and see what we're going to do as we go um but yeah so far i think uh it's looking pretty good looking pretty good if if you guys have anything specific that you'd like to see in my next couple of videos let me know um but basically i'm gonna take you along on the decor journey and uh yeah i'll show you how i actually kit out the space um the second bedroom still doesn't really have much happening in it it's just got boxes and an air mattress and uh yeah my very very old and dilapidated desk so 
that's going to be probably the biggest transformation <laughs> um yeah i pretty much have to maybe buy things from scratch or make things from scratch or yeah we'll see anyway thank you for being here thank you for watching um thank you to everybody who's been supporting me on instagram i really appreciate all your positive messages you guys are the dopest honestly um your support has been so so dope thank you um and thank you again for being here i will see you in the next one ciao